So today I am here to discuss a new second generation antipsychotic that is Keriprazine. So as we all are aware that whenever a new drug comes in market, it comes with a claim of better efficacy and minimal side effects. So uh, like we all know limitations of uh, pre-existing antipsychotics, mainly second gen generation antipsychotics are endocrinal side effects including weight gain, obesity, somnolence, dizziness and mainly metabolic disturbances. So what is the mechanism of action of cariprazine? Like uh, any other second generation antipsychotics, we know all second maximum second generation antipsychotics act as D2 antagonist and 5-HT2A antagonist. This uh, drug has a slightly different mechanism of action. This is the first and only dopamine and serotonin partial agonist which is approved for depressive or mixed episode associated with bipolar 1 disorder. It acts as a partial agonist on D2 receptor, D3 receptor and 5-HT1A receptor. What are the indications of uh, cariprazine? We can use it in bipolar 1 disorder both in manic episode, in depressive episode and because it, it's a second generation antipsychotic so definitely we can use it in cases of schizophrenia. USFDA approves cariprazine as an adjunctive therapy for MDD also. So you can use it as a second line drug in major depressive disorder patients. Then moving to the pharmacokinetics of cariprazine, bioavailability of uh, this drug is 52 to 63 percent. Tmax is 3 to 6 hours on, uh, on the doses of 1.5 milligram per day. T half is uh, 2 to 4 days and plasma protein binding is 96 percent. It is uh, mainly excreted by liver and it has two active metabolites, DCAR, desmethyl cariprazine and DDCAR, didesmethyl cariprazine. Recommended doses and administration of cariprazine, it comes in the strength of 1.5 mg, 3 mg, 4.5 mg and 6 mg and it is uh, given mainly once in a day, it can be given with or without food. Indication, uh, the minimal effective dose or starting dose uh, is in bipolar mania, bipolar depression and schizophrenia, we should start uh, cariprazine with the dose of 1.5 mg on, uh, on a daily basis in OD doses and maximum effective dose in bipolar mania is 6 mg OD, in bipolar depression it, it is 3 mg OD and in schizophrenia we can go up to 6 mg per day. And in major depressive disorder, starting dose uh, would be slightly lesser because in MDD, we will be using it as a second line drug or as adjunctive therapy. So we can start cariprazine at 1.5 mg OD and maximum we can go up to 3 mg per day. <coughs> so there are few drug interactions. Uh, we should use uh, cariprazine uh, in half doses along with the cytochrome 3A4 inhibitors like itraconazole, ketoconazole, clarithromycin and protease inhibitors and we should not use these, uh, this drug uh, with cytochrome 3A4 inducers like rifampicin, carbamazepine, phenytoin and phenobarbital and ifavirin or uh, other uh, antiretroviral drug also if patient is on anti aids treatment we should not use this drug. So there are few clinical evidences which claims uh, its efficacy. Uh, then uh, uh, these are three uh, graphical representations which are showing, uh, showing the significant change in uh, MADRIS score. And they uh, use uh, uh, cariprazine in, uh, in all three a graphical representation they use placebo cariprazine 1.5 mg per day and cariprazine 3 mg per day and in uh, every study they found that uh, 
there was significant reduction in symptomatology with uh, cariprazin 1.5 mg per day and 3 mg per day than the placebo this was uh, uh, this uh, this presentation was for efficacy of uh, cariprazin in bipolar 1 depression then efficacy of bi uh, cariprazin in bipolar 1 ma manic episode or mix episode similarly like in previous uh, slide uh, we saw the changes in uh, medris score here uh, they use bmrs score to see the uh, significant uh, uh, result and they use uh, because in cases of mania and mix episode we, uh, we are supposed to use higher doses of cariprazin so they use 3 to 6 mg per day and 6 to 12 mg per day uh, cariprazin and there was a uh, significant difference reduction in uh, bmrs score with cariprazin than the placebo then uh, uh, efficacy of cariprazin in schizophrenia this was uh, checked by changes in pen score so they use uh, uh, placebo cariprazin 1.5 mg per day cariprazin 3 mg per day and 4.5 mg per day in all three graphical representation there was maximum decline in uh, pen score with cariprazin for 3 mg per day and 4.5 mg per day so definitely it was more effective than placebo in cases of schizophrenia also So long uh, term maintenance treatment uh, of schizophrenia with cariprazin, it claims that there is a 48% lower risk of uh, schizophrenia relapse with cariprazin than the placebo. There was a study conducted uh, in 751 individuals. It was a randomized double blind placebo controlled multicenter trial. It was done in uh, depressive patients they took three groups first group uh, was given cariprazin 1.5 mg per day with the already uh, already given uh, antidepressant treatment second group uh, was given 3 mg per day with antidepressant treatment and third group was given placebo with ADT after six weeks uh, of uh, this trial they found 44% uh, of patients in the 1.5 mg arm had at least 50% reduction in MEDRIS score by the end of two weeks of treatment. And they found that 1.5 mg uh, doses in cases of um, MDD, that was a most effective dose because patient uh, who received 3 mg per day had an improved, uh, had an improved uh, MEDRIS total score, but it was not statistically significant. And patient who received 1.5 mg of cariprazin in, along with the ADT, they had statically significant improvement in depressive symptoms. So guidelines for uh, uses of uh, cariprazin, the CANMED uh, guideline and ISBD. CANMED guidelines are Canadian Network for Mood and Anxiety Treatments and ISBD guidelines are international society for bipolar disorder so like i have discussed before we can use uh, cariprazine as monotherapy in manic patients but uh, in depressive patient we should use in major depressive disorder patients we should use it as a second line drug or as adjunct drug <coughs> like lithium ketiapine sodium valproate etanapine eripiprazole all these uh, drugs we can either use as first line uh, treatment for acute mania or we can use in combination also but not in depressive patients in depressive patient you should use cariprazin as second line treatment so we can use uh, cariprazin as second line treatment both in mania with mixed features and depression with mixed features So a safety profile of cariprazin, it has a minimal or no meaningful increase in mean level of uh, fasting glucose, total cholesterol levels, fasting triglycerides and prolactin levels. So basically they claim it 
and they believe believed uh, it to be metabolically neutral so it has minimal metabolic or endocrinal side effects so this bar chart is uh, showing the side effect profile so frequently observed side effects uh, with cariprazine uh, was uh, were uh, akathisia nausea and increased appetite which is very increase appetite and increase in triglyceride levels and cholesterol levels were also very less so these are the salient features of cariprazine or basically take home message cariprazine has a different mechanism of action it is significantly efficacious and it enhances patient's cognition and improves quality of life in comparison to other second generation antipsychotics like risperidone and olanzapine cariprazine is safe and effective in wide range of patients and it is metabolically neutral which uh, sometimes it leads to reduction in weight and even without dieting or exercising there are no clinical relevant adverse effect of cariprazine on metabolic variables prolactin and qt intervals thank you